everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a bit of a Uniqlo haul, showing you some of the pieces that I've recently picked up. But I've also combined it with some of my Uniqlo must-haves and staples that I feel like have been in my wardrobe for quite a few years. So I feel like a lot of people out there love Uniqlo and I get a lot of messages about, you know, what are your favourite Uniqlo pieces so I thought I would do a bit of an update um, to my older Uniqlo videos. I feel like their pieces are quite accessible um, so if you're looking to pick up a new t-shirt, a new pair of jeans, a new coat or whatever, I hope this video helps. I'm going to do this category by category and I'll just share with you which pieces are new and which ones I've had for a long time. So something that I always recommend from Uniqlo are their t-shirts. They just do so many varieties but these two I think would definitely be my favourite. I think a lot of people will agree with me when I say Uniqlo U t-shirts are the best out there. Um, this is just a crew neck t-shirt, it's made of the nicest cotton, it's quite thick, it's really soft and it is just really really amazing. It's of course 100% cotton and I've had quite a few variations of these. Um, since my last video, my biggest tip would be to size up. So I'm normally an extra small, I very rarely am another size. But for their t-shirts, I actually prefer the medium. The extra small is actually a little bit too small, I feel like, on the shoulder. Like, the seam, I feel like, is a little bit too restrictive. A small is fine, but actually I prefer the medium just for the most comfortable fit. And I also kind of prefer the way it looks as well. Another white t-shirt addition is this like waffle texture um, short sleeve. So I'll, I'll link all the proper names and things down below, but I really like the texture this gives. Once again, it's quite a thicker white t-shirt and I think that's my preference. I just think it looks better usually when t-shirts have a little bit more structure and are not super super like flimsy and thin. Um, so the texture is really nice. It's kind of an off-white as you can see. This is only 60% cotton so it's more of a blend but I really like the texture and the style of it and it's a piece that I would just wear, wear a lot um, on casual easy days. I definitely feel like I could be a bit of a broken record talking about this white top, but here we go again. Um, this is from the Thomas Mayer collection from probably two years ago, I think, a year or two ago. And this is one of my most worn pieces from Uniqlo. Unfortunately, you can't get the exact same one, but they do so many similar versions. I thought I would share with you anyway. It's a sheer white blouse, um, blue in sleeves and quite billowy through the body and I just think it tucks so well into jeans. It looks so like carefree and I don't know, it looks so carefree and relaxed which I really like the vibe of and not to mention it's just really cool and breezy to wear in the summer. Another style worth checking out I think is this gingham style um, blouse or shirt and it's really really boxy, really oversized but I couldn't like resist the gingham print. I was drawn to it because I like the print, but actually the cut and the fit is also quite nice. Super boxy, a little bit long, but it's actually not too bad to tuck in because it is like a lighter cotton. And even worn out, I don't think it's super long, which makes it a lot easier to wear untucked. I think there are two main reasons why I like their different blouses. I always think it's cut quite well and they're always quite flattering. And secondly, I'm always quite happy with the price and the quality of it as well. So I actually got three different pairs of Uniqlo denim. Um, I really wanted to do a bit more of a comprehensive review because there are quite a few styles and I just want to see what the difference was and how they wore and, and basically just share my thoughts. But in this video, I'm going to do a bit of a first impression and then as I wear them more, I'll do more of an in-depth review. I have worn all of these just so I can share my initial my initial thoughts with you guys. These are the Uniqlo U, they're called the wide leg curve jeans. I'm going to insert a photo of me in the dressing room when I tried these pants before I got them tailored with their free tailoring service. They were so long on me so I got a good like, like 20 centimeters taken off the leg. So on first impressions, this is more of a rigid denim. It really has very very little stretch to it. Um, which I don't mind. Because it's so wide leg, it's actually really comfortable still. And the stitching on it is brown, it has like a zip closure. 
and you guys will see what it looks like on me. I personally think that it's quite flattering because it is a high rise jean um, to balance out the wide leg effect. I probably I, I would probably only wear these with heels just with more height because these are not the most like you know elongating pair of pants but at the same time I think they look really cool. And then the next two pair of jeans um, are both Uniqlo's like classic range. The denim on these two feel very very similar if not the same. I really like just by feeling them I can't feel too much of a difference at all. Um, so these are the wide leg versions with like a frayed hem and these are their straight legs. So um, this wide leg is meant to be a crop pant. So this is the only pair that I didn't have tailored and it fits me really well. I imagine they wanted these to be a little bit more cropped. So on me, it kind of fits as a 7 8 pant. Um, whereas these ones were really long and I once again got about 20 centimeters taken off the bottom. Otherwise, I think the main difference between these two pairs is just that this has a wider leg and a frayed hem. And this one is more of a straight fit. And if you're not super comfortable wearing like really wide leg pants, this is definitely um, a more like straight fit. It's a lot easier to wear. It's a bit more classic. And even though I cut so much of the leg off, um, it actually still fits really well. Like I don't feel like the shape of it has gone too weird, um, which is good. The main thing to note with all three pairs of jeans is that I got them all in the 23, a waist 23. And that never happens. So I'm always like a 24, sometimes a 25, but almost never a 23. So I definitely think size down for Uniqlo denim, they are definitely larger, I feel like, than normal sizing. So the reason I'm actually doing this video is that I've just been so impressed with their denim. The two pairs I just showed you feel really soft, really comfortable to wear. They do have a bit of stretch to them. And then the Uniqlo U, or the first pair I showed you, um, I think just has a really beautiful, rigid denim material and yeah, I feel like I only have good things to say, especially given the price of them. So moving on to knitwear now, um, let's start with the pants. These are merino wool blend pants and they're from the recent Marumeko Mar collection. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I believe she's a Finnish designer and she does like homeware and clothing and all kinds of things using like bold print and colors. I generally steer quite clear of wool pants and skirts, especially if I want something to look flattering. Um, I feel like they often accentuate the tummy. They don't make the butt look right. Like they're just overall not that flattering. I really couldn't resist a pair of like merino wool blend pants. I think they're about 40% merino wool. And I just thought because I'm traveling soon, these will be really, really comfortable to travel in. And also if it gets super cold because I'm Australian and I can't, like I don't do well in the cold. Um, I thought I could layer some heat tech underneath and it'll be super comfortable and warm. First impressions, having kind of worn them around the house and wearing them for photos and things. They don't make your tummy look amazing, but I think it's tolerable. So the thing is, um, when you have them on, there's this like extra bit of material, I feel like. Um, just like in the crotch area, which is not the cutest. But it's also because it's black, not that noticeable either, especially when I had my like crossbody bag on top. But they're also a little bit more flattering than what I expected. So actually, I'm pretty happy with these, um, should I say. I think for girls who don't have much of a stomach and you know, a little bit more like flat, these are probably going to fit a little bit better. So ultimately, I don't feel like these pants are super, super figure flattering, but I actually quite like the vibe of them. They're really loose. Um, they kind of move quite nicely. And if you overlook the way it looks on the stomach, I actually think they're quite cool. But mostly I just got them for practical reasons of traveling and being super comfortable. So instead of wearing heat tech in the winter, one of my favorite layering pieces is like a merino wool kind of sweater. So I have two here to share with you. So my older one is this white version. I think merino wool is a really comfortable material and it's just such a nice piece to be able to layer. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more splurgy than heat tech, um, for the winter that you'll have all the time 
I feel like Uniqlo's merino wool is really great. I liked it so much that I did end up getting a navy version because I was wearing it a ton. It's just nice to be able to pair this with lighter colors and then to pair this with darker colors. Um, so it doesn't like, when it shows through sometimes, it's not as like obvious. I think this is a really nice light sweater for transitional periods and a really great layering piece for the winter. So I feel like these, mer I feel like these merino sweaters are a bit of a must have and mainly because of the price and the quality that you're getting for it. You have the cashmere line, which obviously is amazing. I think they do some of the best cashmere out there. Um, Everlane, Grana and Uniqlo are my go-to cashmere places and I think one of my first videos was a review and it's so embarrassing. But I think compared to the $100 Everlane cashmere, Uniqlo ones feel a bit thicker and a little bit more substantial. Um, Everlane's ones are a bit thinner and then Grana just doesn't have enough variety anymore to be honest. I really don't shop there anymore much anymore because they just don't have enough stock and enough colors and things like that. So Uniqlo is definitely one of my go-to places for good cashmere and it's probably what I would recommend to other people who want just to go into store and buy a cashmere sweater. This is the black turtleneck version and I've worn this a ton, I will continue to wear this a ton and a really really great like invest more investment piece to have. The last one is this cotton cashmere knit. So it's a bit gimmicky, it's 98% cotton and 2% cashmere. Um, it does feel quite nice, I'm not sure if I'm feeling the cashmere or the cotton but it does feel a little bit more premium than cotton but I, I don't know if that's the 2% cashmere that's in there that's doing it or something else. But this was a set, this was a knit that I got on sale, um, I think it was, it was $30 in Australia and I just thought it was very cute. And actually, it feels quite nice. I like the way it looks. It's a little bit more cropped in length, which just makes it super easy to wear. And um, yeah, I think I only have good things to say about their cotton pieces. And this is the same. So moving on to some coats. I definitely feel like I haven't had very good luck with wool coats from Uniqlo. After wearing it for like three months or over the course of one winter, it just starts to feel like it's really worn down. Um, the peeling is really bad and you can't even fix it with like a deep pillar or something. It just feels like it's really, really, really tired. So I, after buying that one wool coat, I just boycotted all their jackets. That being said, I do have some of their like nylon, um, like waterproof kind of jackets that have been quite nice. This is from the Inner Stilla Frassange collection a while ago, maybe about a year ago, and it's in this khaki green color. It has like a detachable um, lining on the inside that just is a little bit more warm and gives a bit more padding. Otherwise, it's just kind of a shell coat. So as you can see, it is quite an oversized fit. Um, this material is actually really, really light. It's just the padding that makes it quite warm. So in the springtime or in the transitional period, I tend to take the inside layer off and it makes for like a great raincoat versus just a little bit of an outer shell to keep you warm. And it's quite long. There is a belt at the waist. And I feel like you really can't go wrong with something in this material. Um, and for the price, I really like the way that it physically looks and I really like the detachable um, inner layer as well. The other jacket is similar. It's a part of their Block Tech collection. This is a really simple black coat. It's another longer one. I feel like this keeps me surprisingly warm for just being a shell because it keeps out the wind. It's actually, it's, a little, it's waterproof. When I am going on a bit of an adventure or if I'm traveling, this is always a really great piece to have. I kind of choose between the khaki or this one to take and it just kind of keeps me covered in case it rains. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video as well as like a bit of a favorite and must-haves from Uniqlo. Um, they are one of the brands that I always recommend to people when they're looking for quality basics at a slightly lower price point um, or a more accessible price point. I think their $10 t-shirts are just so good. I think their denim has been really, really nice on first impressions. 
I feel quite confident in them. I don't think I'll change my mind too much about those. And even the knitwear, their coats, their shirts, I would really actually recommend. I hope this video was helpful or you enjoyed it. And please like this video and please subscribe to my channel to see a new video every single Thursday. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!